It was one of cycling's big dynasties. For the best part of two decades, the orange of Rabobank was ever present in the pro peloton. When Rabobank pulled out in 2013, it left the team without a title sponsor. Renamed Blanco Pro Cycling and riding in sponsorless kit, the team received a lifeline just before that year's Tour de France. A two and a half year deal with the electronics giant Belkin should have taken them to the end of 2016. A bolt from the blue then, when Belkin announced an early end to its backing, just as the team was preparing for this year's Tour de France. Yeah, that was a, a message we have, uh, I think, yeah, three weeks before the, the Tour was starting. I was uh, self uh, together with Nico Verhoeven and the Tour of Switzerland and uh, yeah, the, the messing was really like a bomb uh, in the team. Uh, we didn't know something about stopping uh, the sponsor. Uh, and you know in this time when the sponsor is stopping in June, to find a new sponsor uh, the next month it will be really hard and also it's a time to, to take some new riders in your team. When you don't have nothing it's not easy to, to take uh, to build up a team for the next years. Despite the bombshell, the team gave a good account of itself in Switzerland, Balka Molina finishing on the final podium there. And as the management scrambled to secure its future, including a crowdfunding appeal, the nine riders selected for the tour had to focus on their sporting objectives, again with a degree of success, thanks to Lars Bohm's cobbled heroics in the first week. Even so, it was far from ideal in the season's biggest race. In the tour, uh, everyone was okay for the start, but still, uh, you know, it's in your head for the future. Of course, so that's not uh, not easy. Naturally, the uncertainty led to some questions over jobs for 2015 and beyond, especially with the recent trend of teams such as Uskaltel folding and others such as Cannondale and Garmin Sharp merging. Bohm and Molimo were the highest-profile riders to announce their departures from Belkin. But how about the prospects of mechanics, soigneurs and other staff? Half of the riders, it's not a problem, but you have also some really hard workers in the team. For them it's also a problem to find a new team and it's a stressy situation. But we know, okay, we do, uh, we do our job, uh, now it's on the management to find a new sponsor. And uh, everyone was agree, we do it till the 1st of August to find a new sponsor and uh, we go for it. Happily, a solution was found. The National Lottery, Del Lotto and Dutch company Brand Loyalty have announced their backing from next season. And though the likes of Mollema and Boma are moving, a good core of riders including homegrown talents Wilco Kelderman and Robert Hessink, as well as classic specialist Set van Marker will stay. For Boven, himself a long-term fixture on this outfit, the recent uncertainty points to a need for more sustainable funding of teams. I was a long time in the sport, uh, I think more than 20 years now, and the first uh, 60 years, 70 years was also always with Rabobank. So it was a really comfortable situation and we didn't have, as a team, stress for a situation like that, but other teams they, they, they have it also in the, in the past. I think uh, the team's working really hard now in the moment to make an, uh, a different situation that we can survive without a, a mean sponsor. And I think that's a good situation, that the, the teams are working together and try to have a situation like more like football teams, that we can live with other sponsors or with more money from outside the, the sport. It's an intriguing question for cycling. Unlike in football, the teams don't benefit from broadcast television rights. But if the World Tour peloton continues to shrink each year, a radical shake-up may be necessary.